What is up, everybody? It's your boy, Nugs B, and I just want to give a shout out to all of the sponsors of Hashtag Together FTR. The first sponsor I want to give a big shout out to today is Advanaclean of the Tri-State, ran by Joel and Pam Dooley. Advanaclean of the Tri-State provides essential indoor air quality services to residential and commercial customers. Things like mold removal, water damage, dryer vent cleaning, and air duct cleaning. Give them a call for a free estimate today at 606 331 Five zero zero one, and that six zero six three three one five zero zero one. Go ahead if you're on Facebook. Head over to their Facebook page at Advanta Clean of the Tri State. Give them a like. Be sure to share their page. Send them a message and say Taylor sent you. And if you need to go to their commercial location, you can find them at forty four forty six Thirteenth Street. Ashland, Kentucky. And the second sponsor today is a great friend of mine. He is seriously, hands down, top two sculptors I know personally. Uh, His name is Wyatt Freeman. W-Y-A-T-T-F-R-E-E-M-A-N. Look him up on Facebook. He's a sculptor, painter, He can draw, and just a great person all around. You can find him on Facebook, as I said. He is somebody I am recommending today that you need to get with as soon as possible to get some commissioned art. He charges a very reasonable fee and can do pretty much anything you need and will work with you very attentively. And last but not least for the sponsors of this episode... Few Apparel. Shout out to my dude nephew over there killing the game at Few Apparel. And you all can check him out on Facebook. And this dude's real awesome. He can get you all the way together with your merch. If you're, uh, you know, a rapper or if you're a band or anything that you're chasing in your artistry, he can get you taken care of. T-shirts, hoodies, so on and so forth. So make sure to check out Few Apparel today. Let's go ahead and get this episode started. What's up, everybody? You listening to For the Record with your host, Nug B. Oh, it's for the record, son. Yeah. Yeah. It's for the. It's for the record. I said it's for the. It's for the record. Yeah, boy, it's for the. It's for What's up, everybody? It's your boy, Nugs B. Welcome to For The Record, hashtag Together FTR. This is episode 45. I am joined by Lambo, Mr. Lambert, as some of you know him, and we're killing it as usual. He's rocking the Santa Squatch. I'm rocking the Bill Cosby. Y'all ain't ready for this episode. So go ahead. If you're checking this episode out, make sure to share, like, comment, and... Go on YouTube and subscribe together, FTR. Excuse me. As usual, we're going to start this episode out, entertainment history. On this day in 1985, we built this city by Starship, hits number one on the Billboard Hot 100. It is later named Worst Song of All Time by Blender Magazine. No. Why are they hating? I know. I mean, I'm we, tired of it. We built it on rock and roll. I mean, we built it on, on rock and roll. We built it on love. That's right. What else did we build it on, bro? I don't I don't know. I, I, it wasn't the worst song, no. Blender Magazine. Who are you? I mean, it gets stuck in your head. How could you not? Oh, like, dude. They we played mentioned it like an hour ago, and I've been like singing <laughs> it in my head ever since. And I only, I only know like one line. It is literally All Star by Smash Mouth at this point, yes. and I want to watch yes. Shrek. That's how I feel about this. It's one of those guilty pleasures we talk about sometimes. Excuse you know, me. it's one of those songs that, like, oh, man, yeah, it's maybe not the best song, but but man, you I, love it deep down. 
I gotta listen to it. It's it's, yeah. it's it's rock star by Nickelback. Yeah, you hate it, but you sing it when it comes on. That's right. Because you're a grown man and you're not gonna have anything else. Exactly. You're gonna have it for dinner. You're gonna have it for lunch and breakfast. Exactly. Because we all just want to be rock stars. You could make that the new Rick Roll. <laughs> you know, new Rick Roll. And it's really funny because, uh, like I was telling you earlier, man, my mom literally instilled. 80s hair band music oh, on yeah. me and she literally just i mean dude i'm so blessed because like i said i can hit those high notes on a silly note exactly you know and i really love it man it's it's uh i'm, I'm blessed that, that my mother really what still we say earlier monster jams is that the one no monster, monster ballads monster, yeah there like was there was the one Nels- and two nelson and uh yeah there's all those uh, one and two uh the first oh, one was red and blue you see like a crowd like a yeah. silhouette like an outline yeah, of yeah, a yeah, crowd yeah. And, dude, I hold that dear to my heart. I would literally give every amount of money and every asset I have just to give the copy that my mother had. Oh, yeah. In that CD case. I unfortunately, Mr. Big is on there. Oh, oh my yeah, God. Yeah, that's some good stuff. Just to be with you. Dude, if we wouldn't get pulled from Facebook just. and YouTube, I would literally play nothing but 80s hairband music oh, yeah. for the whole podcast. Oh, yeah. But we would get pulled immediately, and nobody would be able to enjoy the episodes because they would mute us out because Zuckerberg is yeah. legit censorship on everybody. Yeah, the problem is if we were doing the 80s music, we would have to have, like, I'd have to have, like, a long blonde wig and glasses. Oh, and bro. Can we have please the, next the black episode? wig and the, and, the, and the black hat. We can, can, I, I need to rock. We could be Wayne and Garth. Oh, bro. That's what I was about to say. I got off topic already. <laughs> a fun fact of the day. Who was the guy? I'm going to look it up because I'm going to butcher it if I don't. The guy who played Turtle Turtle in the uh, uh, Man of Disguise. You Dana, know what I'm talking about. Dana Carvey. About. There you go. Ma- Master of Disguise. There you go. He was on Howard Stern. Thank you, Dictionary, a.k.a. Google.com. That's right. uh, right. Because my dude slamming it as usual. Uh, That guy was on Howard Stern. I watched a clip maybe four or five days ago. I don't even know. Um, But anyways, long story short, I I watched it. Howard Stern was pressing on the subject. Hey, man, uh, was... uh, how did you feel resentment towards Mike Myers because of the whole Dr. Evil impersonation of uh, Lauren... Uh, Lauren, what, uh, Lauren Michaels. Lauren Michaels. There you go, bro. From SNL, yeah. And S- there you go. Yeah, yeah. Dana Carvey. Yeah, Dana Carvey. Dana Carvey. Uh, he was the one that made up the Dr. Evil thing right. and the pinky thing right. for Dr. Evil. So, yeah, Mike took, Myers yeah. goes to make multi-millions yeah. off of that. Dana Carvey, he was real dancing around the question. He yeah. was like, "Well, I'm very, I'm very grateful that I met Mike Myers because I made a lot of money." Not, he didn't say that, but right. like you could get you could what tell, he was yeah. getting at, bro. He was like, oh, "Dude made me a couple mils, so yeah. I'm not too butt hurt about what he said." I mean, both of them had a career in their own right. I mean, I mean, Dana Carvey was amazing on. Is SNL. that where he got his start on SNL? I, mean, I didn't I'm sure know. He didn't I, he's up, an okay. older cat. The you church know? lady, you know, the church lady, like. Who did that? Maybe Satan. You ever hold seen on, that? Hold like, on. Church he did lady, all SNL. Kinds. Yeah. yeah. I know I, you've I, seen. I, I, Dude, I didn't really. It was. Yeah, yeah. it was who, him. Who made you do that? Maybe Satan. Like, it was all. It was hilarious. The other dude, there's a. Uh, 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 what's his name? They're making fun oh, of Saddam Hussein. Yeah, making fun of Saddam Hussein. Yeah. That's the episode where. Um, what's his name? The dude that played Dan from Roseanne. What is it? John Goodman. John Goodman. Yes, that's what it looked like. I just didn't want to be dumb. Oh, we're here in Bar Simpson now. Look at this. Disney is taking over. He did all kinds of big characters, though. Like, he was all kind. He did all kinds of really good characters. Dude, honestly, I feel like SNL kind of was on the wave before I was born. So when I caught it, it was like, meh. But Michael Shea. This is my era. For sure. For sure. This is my era. And Michael uh, Michael Shea and Keenan are holding it down. Yeah. Michael Shea Matters is a stand up he did. Bro, he talks. Obviously, he talks about Black Lives Matter in it, and yeah. dude, it's hilarious. The, the news, I love news it. part of SNL, news update is like the my favorite part. Yeah, I right on. The only it. dude, honestly, like I said, you know, I'm 23 years old, man. We have a age gap between us, and I love it because it yeah. shows different it things helps. that we have right. really experienced. You know, oh, yeah. with entertainment, pop culture, whatever, and. Uh, that's one thing that is cool. Like I saw, I see clips. I saw clips. You know, I didn't watch SNL as the goats were coming out. Right. It was like I saw it six years after it came out, right. and then it was like super cool, right. iconic. You know, almost a fad. You know, yeah. like to see it and stuff. And like it, it really, it, it still hit home for me. But it wasn't like watching it as the original, as you. 
my brother, people from his generation. Right. He's nine years older than me. So what, what were the SNL know. skits that were like big when you remember watching SNL? In your well, I didn't even time? watch it. I saw the clips from reruns. Oh, okay. Chris okay. Farley. I saw Christopher Walken, <sighs> Will Ferrell, See, Chris Jimmy Farley's Fallon. Like when I was older, so that, for me, that's, it's kind of like I'm, I'm like Dan Aykroyd and oh, Dana Carvey. Oh, gosh. Like, I forgot Dan Aykroyd. That's SNL, like, too, bro. Yeah, like, I remember when, like, I remember when this new, young, weird little kid popped up, and then it was like, oh, who's this kid? Oh, it's Adam Sandler. You know, oh, like, yeah, you know? dude. I, was, you know, I watched his old reruns. He's like, he's like my age, almost. I mean, he's a couple years older than me, I think, but, like, I mean, I, exactly I remember being a teenager and hearing about him being, like, 19 or 20, so he's probably, dude. like, I'm 40, he's probably, like, 45. I want to see the new movie he's in where he plays the Jewish uh, jeweler. Dude. In New York? No way he's that much older than me. He is 53 years old. No. He's Straight up. For, oh, look at him. Born look. in 66, rocking a fat mustache That's these right. days. Adam Sandler looking good for, for dude, that Dude, let me see. Impressive. What's that movie called where he's a Jewish jeweler? It just came out. I, it might not even be out yet, dude. It yeah, might be uh, coming out. Uh, uh, oh, my God. What is it called? Best I'm an Adam idiot. Adam Sandler movie. Is it, is it Uncut Gems? Uh, Uncut Gems? That, the Howard Ratner, maybe yeah. based on a true story. Maybe yeah, I'm butchering yeah. it. I don't want to say because I'm yeah, stupid. Yeah, it's so. supposed, supposed to be really good. It releases Christmas. Okay. Comes out the okay. day before Tegan's birthday. He's got a movie. Um, oh, what's it Rain called? on Me. Yes, did we talk about that? Oh, before? my God. Uh, Rain on Fire, was Ra- it? Rain on something, but it's about 9-11. And he yeah, and he, his family he was and he's a serious ra- actor. No, Rain on Man. Me. Rain, rain over, over, rain me. over me, Don oh, Cheadle, yes. bro. I don't cry Roma. during movies, but Jesus, oh my God, he played such yes. a great dude in the you, courtroom. You can't help but see him like I always oh. imagine him being like a, like a Jim Carrey type actor. Oh like you God. can't help but be like he's he's oh. got to be funny in order for it to be it, a good movie. That movie, he's not funny at all. Like he broke my heart. That literally came out in two thousand seven. I feel old. 2007. I I was talking about, I was literally watching uh, Day Before Yesterday. No, it might have been last night. Day Before Yesterday. Anyways, I was watching Age of Ultron. Yeah. Came out in 2015. Dude, it feels like 2015 was forever ago. Yeah. And then 2007, you're like, oh, dude, that was like a million years ago. Well, like, I mean, Don Cheadle, I'm talking about 2004, the movie yeah. I always show in school, like, uh, uh, you, you, you Hotel remember, Rwanda. Hotel Rwanda. Watched it in your class. Yeah, everybody Watched it as a grown man. Yeah. Uh, again, yeah. when I got out of school, just to really comprehend what was right. going on, right? You know, it's like, powerful, and it's like that's two thousand four, oh. I think. I mean, that's an old movie, but it's still so good. Like pure genocide, so civil so war good. in a country that did not deserve yeah. that type of treatment. The, the, uh, mov- the movie is what I mean. So good. No, oh genocide. yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, genocide horrible, is definitely not good. Dude, yeah, I mean, so it's, horrible. But the acting, I, I get what oh, you're. I wasn't God. trying to say no, that like. No, I, know. I, I get what you're saying. I wasn't trying to say that like you know genocide is yeah. great. And, I said and so good <laughs> as you said genocide, and I was like. Mm. Bad timing, my friend. Yeah. But what I was getting at is I was going to par- compare that. It's not really – it kind of is a civil war, but yeah, how I mean, do you it say is, it? it Yemen? Or, what, the country it was the in? Country. The country. No, no, no. I'm uh, talking uh, about now. Oh, right now. Yemen. 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 Yeah, okay. Yeah. Genocide is happening right yeah. now for those who don't know. It's been oh, happening yeah. since 2011, I believe. You guys need to look into this. This is some brutal stuff in the Middle East. Our UN is just allowing it. Yep. Our world is allowing it because war creates jobs and jobs create money, and the gold standard is gone. So paper really means something big, man. The it's oil so sad. Standard. Well, yeah, well, yeah. Good call. I'm not even gonna say gold standard. I yeah. guess it'd be oil gotta, gotta standard well, as well. I mean, it's not official, but I'm just How saying do you like say the Yemen? way we Yemen, yeah. Yemen. Yemen. Okay, there's, okay. There's Yemen and Oman. They're, okay, so, I, I don't so ask I'm that sure correctly. An, I don't want to sound stupid. Well, so, we, like, we I know from, it's hard to do, but we're you know. from Appalachia. It's yeah. okay if we mispronounce things. <laughs> and uh, that's the thing ever too. To, like, ever been to Versailles, <laughs> Kentucky? <laughs> How's it actually pronounced? Uh, in France, it's Versailles. The palace Versailles. of Versailles. Wow. But we say Versailles, and that's like a tri-city. That's like a tri-state of Lexington, pretty. Yeah, much, pretty much. You know, or, or, Richmond. You know, I mean, in this area, we say things like it's not hurricane; it's hurricane, hurricane, tornado. Me and yeah. Step talked about that. He yeah. was like, "Yeah, look at these West Virginia." Yeah, yeah. Uh, West Virginia names for their cities and such. It's one man. of the worst things about teaching geography in this God. area. Is I'll, I'll teach kids like, oh, it's Muslim. It's, You're actually it, supposed yeah. to play Muslim. I, I, say, I learned I that Muslim. from you. Yeah, you like, taught me. I still like say that. Iraq and Iran. People are like, it's Iraq. Iraq? It's is ir- Iraq. Iraq and Iran. And Iran. Because you got to think in their wow. language and, the, and the, the, the sounds are different. Muslim is different. Or like Muslim instance, when teachings I teach, are very different. You, you remember like talking about uh, South America and talking yes. about Chile. Chile. And I kids, still like, say the same thing. Kids are still like, it's it's chilly. And I'm like, no. I remember. If, if you have O-L-E in Spanish, it's Ole. Yeah. L-E says lay. 
So, so it's chi it, lay. Break down of words. Or, yeah, straight or, up. Compound. Or, or, or people are like, no, it's chili. I'm like, chili. What you eat. Let me get that chili with the deer maze on. I love when they turn I need a good athlete. Like, I'm like, guys, you're, you're from Appalachia. You are literally we, not a... Uh, you know, teacher. So yep. just, just yeah. stay in your lane, pal. Just that's stay it. in your that's lane, it. pal. You don't know what you're doing. I mean, we're just we're notorious for pronouncing things our oh, own way. Oh, bro, I literally didn't even know that it was Dan Druff. It's yeah. Dan Druff. That's how you're. I thought it was Dan Druff. Yeah. All these idiots around here have been talking. Oh yeah, watch out for the Dan Druff because a buddy of mine. Uh, shout out to him. He's actually the one I told you about episode uh, 50. Okay. Uh, special guest. We're not even gonna announce his name. We're just gonna let it happen. And. Uh, it's Bill <laughs> If only I could get the Clintons on here on my side so I could get mass amount of money. Um, in, the but, middle, in the middle of that episode, would you drop Epstein didn't kill him? <laughs> I probably wouldn't because I like living and I love my children. Um, but anyway, so like we were talking and I was like, yeah, dude. I was like, Dan Drift, because I'm an idiot, is different than Dry Scalp. I have Dry Scalp, not Dan Drift, because I kept saying it because yeah. I'm, I'm a, you know, Correct you. very ignorant. Uh, he didn't even correct me. Oh. Google corrected us because I was like, let me look this up real quick. Looked it up, Dan Druff and uh, Dry Scalp have the same main symptoms, yeah. but are different. That we're learning right now. We're learning, baby. It's back to learning. Or, or, or like, think about like, you know, the, the, the book, Legend of Sleepy Hollow. It's holler. Yeah. Let me get that Johnny Depp holler, hey, son. Have you, read, have you read that story of the sleepy, <laughs> little story of the sleepy holler? We need a little holler in our life. Holler, right. holler. Uh, so on this day in 2006, I know we're crazy people when we get off on tangents sometimes, but you all love us. That's why you That's keep right. tuning in. So right. keep sharing this bad boy. We love it. We've been averaging 1K views per episode, and it's really been like breaking my heart on like an emotional, in my feelings level that I don't want to admit. But dude, it's meant so much to me. I've got a lot of cool things lined up that are just like. I don't even know, man. It's just breathtaking. Like, I know it sounds so corny and, like, cliche or whatever, but it's really meant a lot to me. The people that have came on and really shared, you know, what they're doing, what they're about, their stories, you know, yada, yada, whatever. But, like, there's been a lot of great stuff, and I got a lot of stuff, a lot of great stuff lined up for the next two months, man. Right. I'm really going to pump them out. Like, hopefully... I can get 10 to 20 episodes done in the next two to three months. I mean, it's, it's, it's getting out there. You know, we talked about uh, uh, one of my former students that, I, you know, kind of shout out to my boy Colton. But, Literally, uh, I made a clip because you yeah, called me. Yeah. But so hey, my, my man, boy we Colton were was talking. Like, you know, this was such a, a moving episode. You talked about the 15-year-old me, yep. and it was just like it, it meant so much to me to hear, you know, that something you and I had done mm -hmm. had really, like, really hit somebody in the fields and made them like reevaluate things and think and it's like I need that impact that's not really the, the purpose of everything but but at the same time if you can get the voice out there you know this is a great vehicle a great a great vessel for being a, get a voice out there to be able to reach people that, that We're you know i'm not getting a chance to reach you know you, we, we don't you don't normally get a chance to talk to so and that's another that's thing cool. like you were getting at like you don't get to reach him because in school as we all know and i try to warn these fools that while you're in school you don't listen to my boy but you, you're really doing yourself a disservice at this point and if you don't know what disservice means look it up yeah. I didn't know what it meant until I watched JRE and somebody said it, and I was like, ah, oh, this is really cool. I'm going to look it up. Yeah, I, have a th I have a thesaurus app on my phone. I got a dictionary app on my phone because I'm a dork, bro, straight up. Like, I mean, when it comes down I, I, to I've it. been around for a minute. I know yeah. a few things. Oh, if dude. I try and tell kids You're you know, my, my life advice just on the things they you don't fix it, they, well, nowadays. Not they, until they get older. You know what they say if I say something now? You're a boomer. Okay, boomer. Okay, we're going to get to that, too. That's, the, that, that's, on, <laughs> that's on the list, baby. We're going to get to the boomers. Um, but back to the entertainment history, because we get crazy sometimes. Right. On this day in 2006, Queen's Greatest Hits has declared the most popular album of all time in Britain with more than 5.5 million units sold. The Beatles come in second with Sgt. Pepper. Fun fact of the day, Sgt. Pepper's Lonely Hearts Club Band was recorded in 48 hours because they're doing analog and they don't want to waste yeah. the tape. Yeah. One take, you got you better be perfect on this, dude. Yes. Go back and listen to that album and tell me you That's don't cool. literally want to just be loved by everybody and love everybody at the same time. So good. Got off tangent, and I just remember we were talking about Dana Carvey. Yep. What I was getting at is he was pretty much <laughs> pressing on him. Howard Stern was pressing on him about being resentment, or having resentment, as I should say, and uh, he would not budge, bro. He was like, yeah, I haven't reached out and told him that I forgive him and – you know, we're cool, and I never really mentioned it to him, but it is the truth right. at the same time that he did kind of steal Dr. Evil. But Michael M Mike Myers also kind of put him on and made him a lot right. of money. Right. So it is right. what it is.
That's killer. And that's where Mike Myers and Seth MacFarlane really killed the game. Eddie Murphy is too, and uh, you oh, know, yeah. Nutty Professor, because they acted as all these different characters. Right. So they saved money. Oh yeah. You don't have to give nobody no money yeah. if you're the dude that's doing all the voice acting. Yep. Brilliant God. idea. Eddie Murphy was forty-five characters. Yeah. I think. Oh, I bro, like, straight up. The barber shop in Nutty Professor. Love it, bro. When like everybody in there is Eddie Murphy. Love it, bro. Even like the old white Jewish dude. Nutty that's, Professor that's was Eddie Murphy. great, like, bro. Hey, how many people can you make Eddie Murphy into? <laughs> Third, we got uh, on this day in 2000, Joseph Josie uh, Kalea, Kid Rock's hype man, plagued by a host of medical issues, dies at age 26. Oh, man, Josie. Yeah, God, R.I.P. with the ba. Ba to the ba, son. What does that even mean? What's going oh, on? Ba with the ba, the bang, the bang, diggy, <laughs> diggy, 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 said the boogie, said up, jump, the boogie. Like, Start going, next, I got, uh, next, I got some quotes for you all. Yes. Uh, life becomes easier and more beautiful when we can see the good in other people. And that was said by Roy T. Bennett. We don't even know what this dude is. We don't even know who this dude is, but he's been killing it. When it comes to quotes, he, he, a lot he, of he puts quotes. out some bangers, man. Uh, you must not lose faith in humanity. Humanity is an ocean. If a few drops of the ocean are dirty, the ocean does not become dirty. And that was said by Gandhi. Yes. Phenomenal. Just, just the, the knowledge in both those. It's Phenomenal. just the idea of just looking at society and seeing what's good. You know, I can't imagine I just it. being a, a cynic and thinking everybody's, you know, just not good. So good. Learn from yesterday. Live for today. Hope for tomorrow. The important thing is uh, is not to stop questioning. So everybody Einstein. out there who's just going with the flow, it's definitely a good philosophy and it's definitely a good way to go. But you also want to question things that you feel a little fishy about. Yeah, you know. The big thing is like, don't look back, don't question what if, what if. You know, just live for tomorrow. You know, learn from the past, live today, and learn and 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 just hope for tomorrow. Basically, straight up, that's good. Um, Also, we got some recommendations of the day as usual. And uh, for those of you who are still tuned in, make sure to go check out www.youtube.com/slash/togetherftr. Do the same with Facebook, and do the same with just a website in general, www.togetherftr.com. Uh, you can check us out on there, buy merch, etc. Appreciate you guys. Recommendations for the day, Wu-Tang and American Saga. Uh, second is Peaky Blinders. New season just came out. Phenomenal. Yellowstone, starring Kevin Costner. The Last Kingdom. Titans. And the new one you just talked about earlier with me on Disney+. Plus. Mandalorian, yes. yeah, got to throw that on there. That's definitely, yes. yeah. Mandalorian, bro, I forgot to put that on there. What is going on? Super I got good. you, the no new, way. Yeah, I the new you. episode's already out, dude. Also, another one I'm going to uh, uh, recommend you guys to watch is C. S-E-E is just C. Um, excuse me. I got one Gosh, I got to give you a minute. Go ahead and tell me what that one. I got to remember Lord, to tell you. Well, while you. While you're fixing that, I got to tell you about uh, When They See Us. When I believe that's what it's oh, called. It's on Netflix. Oh, the docu-series. I didn't the even docu- watch it. Oh, man. Was watch it great? It. Watch it. True story. It's um, what, 19, late 1980s, I think. I don't remember, but it's the... the uh, it's, it's, it's definitely the, uh, Central Park Central Park 5. You know, five boys, basically. Wrong place, wrong time, wrong color of skin. And oh, Horrible, man. dude. Oh, it's... Horrible. Phew, makes you angry, makes you happy in the end, makes you just tore up, man. For real. It's so good. For real. So the six six episodes, I mean, it's not bad to watch. I think I got through it in, a, in less than a day, you know. Yeah, it looked really, really good, yes. man. And, like, I I don't even know why I didn't even it watch when, it. it. Was it When They See Us, maybe? Yeah. Am I, am I wrong? Hang on. Uh, I think it hold is. Hold on here. When they, yep, you're right. When, when They, they See when Us. They My see bad. Us. When yep. They it's See Us. It's all good. It's all good. Based on 1989, okay. right before the 90s okay. started, okay. for sure. And, uh, yeah, man, I yeah, definitely, need to, yeah. definitely need to powerful. check that out. Definitely need to check that out. Like I said, I was talking about C. Uh, Jason Momoa is in it. It's pretty much about, like, uh, everybody in it is blind. And it's because the inhabitable, earth, the inhabitable earth, God has pretty much punished them, is what they think. 
and taken all their sight. So, like, it, it was, you know, bred into generations and generations because everybody had their sight taken from them. Hmm. And uh, it, it's crazy, man. But it's really, really good to watch how interesting it is to see how everybody would act if they were blind. Like, in the village, for example, there are ropes and strings right. that, like, that show. Yeah. And, like, there'll be, like, a little... A little like washer or something that's right. on this thing that shows you, okay, like I'm by this person's camp or I'm okay. by this okay. or whatever. Dude, it's that's super cool. interesting, super, super cool. It's got uh, Alfrey Woodard and it has uh, Jason Momoa. So if you guys can check that yeah. out, super, super dope. I love it. I think they're on like episode four. It's actually an Apple TV original, so it's like super weird. I guess they're trying to get that to be a thing. Um, check it out. It's awesome. Okay. It really it is. Uh, so, first thing I got to ask you today is, what was your favorite thing to do as a kid? Were you an outdoor kid? Oh, yeah. Were you a video game? Were no. you fighting with sticks? Were you playing sports? Were you getting into trouble? Whatever it was, man. What was your favorite thing to do? Your favorite thing. I always got in trouble, but that was just because of the way that I did my favorite thing. My favorite <laughs> thing to do was explore. Nice. I lived, in, I lived in Texas most of my childhood and then moved here. And it was always somewhere with hills and woods. Nice. And if I got a chance to go outside, next thing you know, I was two, three miles out in the woods somewhere. There it is. Maybe there not get back till dark, but, man, I would I love it. That's Absolutely awesome. Absolutely love it, man. Yeah. I mean, and, and while I'm out there, I, yeah, I'm, I'm, I'm setting booby traps. And I'm, like, <laughs> I'm making, you know, swords out of sticks. Like I'm. That's funny. I am playing Lord of the Rings in the middle of the woods somewhere. But, yeah, I was never... <laughs> Around a house. I always want to be in the woods. That is funny, my dude. Uh, for me, personally, it was a little combination of both. I guess if the weather was great, I wanted to be outside and didn't want to be home. But if it was cold outside, I was definitely playing video games, bro. And I was going hard on the computer. Because like I said, you know, we got dialed up when I was yeah. probably six or seven. I don't know. Something like that. You got to think, when I was a kid, though, I mean, Nintendo, as in like SNES, original yeah. Nintendo, didn't come out until I was like... Would have been NES. I don't know when it Super came Nintendo out. was oh, yes, right, right. right. No, you're good. Yeah, you're right, you're right. Ness, but uh, yeah, but that didn't come out until I was. I remember playing it like at somebody's house. That's I was, crazy. I was poor. I didn't have it, but I'm talking like I was like 15. Dang. So you. and I had my parents had an Atari when I was little. PS2 but was out when I was probably eight. Me, they wouldn't let seven. me touch it. Well, I'm old. <laughs> but no, like it's so weird to see, like like we were talking about how people who grew up on the internet grew yeah. up on electronics. Like it really is a big difference, man. And like it changes kind of the demographic of how you grow up, how yep. you perceive, how you do this, how you do that. You know, like yep. it's really a different world that we're living in now, man. Oh, it's yeah. weird. Definitely. Yeah, I was all for – I loved playing, like, you know, tackle football or, like, street ball or whatever. Right. But I also loved, uh, you know, sitting in the house and playing video games. Oh, yeah. It definitely was a big part of my childhood. Uh, so, yeah, pretty much I want to go ahead and get into this. It's a big topic right now, and I'm. it's a, it's another big topic, actually. But Disney Plus is really taking over the game, dude. Like, mm-hmm. Mandalorian's killing it. They got every single thing you could ever think of. Besides, like, a couple few that I thought of because I'm a weirdo. And, uh, dude, it's great. Like, I, I hate to even endorse them and tell, like, tell people to go get it. But it's well worth it. They've got Dark, Darkwing Duck and oh, Gargoyles. I Game uh, over. I, I watched them both. Game I watched uh, Avatar because, dude, not even Last Airbender. I'm talking, like, straight up Avatar, like, the yes. you know, the Navi. And, Let's oh, my God. Dangerous. And I watched Darkwing Duck. Uh, watch Age of Ultron, right yes. dude. So good, man. It's crazy. I don't even watch much TV, but man, I'm I'm in for this, dude. Dark, the Disney, Dark, dude. the Disney Plus uh, streaming service is just really knocking it out of the park. Is the original Ducktales on there? Yes, bro. Ducktales and Darkwing Duck, bro. It's the best theme song crazy. ever. Ducktales. Somebody told me Tail Spins on there too. I don't know if Tail Spins on there, but if um, that's a real thing, that's awesome. Yes. But pretty much, I mean, all the movie, TV series, like animated series, are on yeah. there. Hercules, Aladdin, Timon and yes. Pumbaa. Dude, they're great. Yeah, those were yes. really good. Some of those were better in the movies. Like they made yeah. the movies yeah. better. You know. Uh, next thing we can go ahead and talk about is the OK Boomer thing, and <laughs> you know, it's it's been weird lately. The past like. It ain't been really that long. It's been like a month or like the, the, two. Since, okay, it's some meme. I don't even know where it's from, but I can tell you teaching high school. It's all I hear every day. And, uh, I mean, it all comes from, for years, all we've been hearing about is older people complaining about. What's you know, going on with the well, Just complain about whatever. millennials. Millennials, millennials. And I, I get that. The millennials, I'm sure, are just kind of tired of hearing it. 
And so boomer has just become kind of a, a derogatory term in the same way that millennial has. But what I find hilarious is that people have no the people who are using it have no idea really what those ages are. Like, I don't know how many times I've been called a boomer. I'm not even close. Nope, I'm Gen not. X, baby. You are Gen, Gen X. X. You're the last year that Gen X was accepted. Yeah. Uh, boomer was uh, from... Otherwise, otherwise I'm, I'd actually be a millennial, right? I'm one year off yep, from millennial. 100%. So boomer like, generation years, 1946 to 1964. So you're talking like my parents yeah. are young boomers. Young boomers, bro. I mean, We're my talking parents people, were born in, in 59. Yeah. So you're talking Gen- young boomers. For generation me. X is 1961 right. through 1981. Yeah. So that's Generation X. And that's uh, yeah. I love the the images always show when you look at Gen X is always Breakfast Club. Just that kind of it was too. Yeah, good it always call. is. It's always. Uh, let's see here, Millennium Generation, and then I think it was, starts obviously the year after that. But yeah. I don't know. Let's see here. So yeah, it says the nineteen eighties are starting birth years, and the mid nineteen nineties to early two yep. thousands are the millennials. So it's not even like 2000 to whatever. Like, that's false. That's well, just, incorrect. And a big part of it is, too, kind of leading into something else we talked about earlier, is just the, the, the technology, you know, um, the fact that, you know. The difference. When I grew up, I didn't I, – I think in my senior year of high school, I had a pager mm-hmm. so that my parents could get a hold of me. But, like, I didn't have a cell Crazy. phone. Like, internet wasn't a thing. It wasn't like – you know, it, it's a different time of life. It's a different – you know, like, for instance – I went outside to play because what other choice was there? There was nothing else to do. Sit you in gotta, my house and yeah. play with my toys by Literally myself. Literally do nothing, bro. Beat like, up my little brother. Like, yeah. that was it. That was all yeah. the choices I had. Abuse your sibling or yeah. go out and find yeah. something else to or do. Or make my mom crazier than I already made her. You Literally, know? That was yeah. It. Like, That's no lie. Mom be like, go outside. Don't come back till dinner. <laughs> Yeah, streetlights come on, then you can come home, I guess. Yeah, that's, I mean, that's it. That was that was my clock. I didn't have nobody texting me and be like, get home now. You well, know? yeah, like I said, it was technically like two years after your Generation X, you got the, yeah. you know. And the, then right now we got like Gen Z, and so it's like, yeah. it's almost like right now that like Gen Z and Millennial are like against Gen X and Boomers well, he, and just seeing everybody as Boomers, he, and it's it's different. I mean, even I'm like, oh, these, because I mean, the big thing right now that we're, we're Boomers are, uh, I hate saying boomers like that, like I, I'm not hating them, but you know, <laughs> baby boomers are, are are constantly throwing these accusations of, you know, the millennials are, are mm-hmm. lazy, they say mm-hmm. they can't get by today. Well, the big difference is things were cheaper back then. You made... Dude, it was 25 cents, you yeah. could get a pack of smokes, you could get a yeah. bag of chips. My dad told me when I mean, he was in 10th grade... Look at the difference of price of college back then. Dude, he said for 10 cents you could get a bag of chips, a pack of yeah. smokes, and a pop. Yeah. Ten cents. I mean, yes, you're not getting paid as much. No, no, no. But, Inflation's a real thing. But if you look at the percentage between how much they got paid and, and what it actually costs to not not just to live. The inflation but, adds but to up. Get to it's move weird. Up in society. Yeah. It was easier. It's hard now. I mean, going Dude. to college, like we're we're set up in a society now where we, we got, are we are built to be in debt our whole life. We got people that are billionaires paying two percent taxes. Yeah, yeah. Straight up. Like let's be real about it. Boomers. It says millennials end in nineteen ninety six. Shout out nineteen ninety six because right. you are the last year of Gen X. You're the last, I'm the yeah. last year right. of millennials. Yeah. So what's after that? Gen Z is that what yeah, you said? Gen, Gen Z is the is the current uh, the current group right now. So when do they end? No. Hopefully soon, because God, they're <laughs> awful. So, I mean, we're talking about, you know, once again, the internet being dumb and like it really could be whenever, I guess they say is whatever. They call it a cusp. So it's the area like where something ends and something else begins. There's always yes. that kind of hazy period where it kind of is in here somewhere. So you're kind of on the end, depending on who you ask. This is very true. So Variations is like, what do you think people should actually eat? You know, who it depends on who you ask. Some people yeah. should say ve- vegetarian. Some people would say pescatarian. Some people will say carnivore. Well, some I mean, people it, say, you know. Plus, like, if you look at like, your, your zodiac sign, like, some people will say that a zodiac the sign times. ends on the 20th, yeah, some say yeah. ends on the 21st. So that if you're born on the 20th, 21st, you're called the cusp. Mm-hmm. So when you're talking about something that's grand scale is 20 years at a time, then it's going to be a year or two kind of Yeah, for sure, bro. There, so. You're going to have some mess ups. Uh, next thing we're going to get on to is the effects of 24 hour media or social media on political division. So what I'm going to start uh, saying is pretty much that it's so sad that we could really work as one big conglomerate and take over what we need to do for the human rights that we need. But people are so caught up in parties and and I mean 
political parties, not like actual right. partying, but uh, to clarify for everybody. <laughs> but, you know, people are so caught up in all this bull crap that, you know, they're just – they're not ready to accept that we need to look at human rights, right. not party rights. Right. So, Well, I mean, I, I think the thing that, that I really kind of get with this is, is you have such a, a time now of people who really are – you know, knowledgeable in one side or the other in politics, and you have that group who just on both sides, extreme. both left, both right, who get so extreme and so mm-hmm. caught up in the talking mm-hmm. points and the and the media, and and I think that yep. comes from the fact that you know years ago you got news at like noon, five o'clock, straight and 10 up, o'clock. you didn't have it. the internet, right? And, and not now, like we do now, at right? Least, I mean, you yeah, know, you had dial up, yeah. So, well, even before that, I mean, you had nothing unless the nothing. government had internet. That was about Straight it. Up. You know? That's who had so, it. Yeah. <laughs> Nobody else so, had it. Like news, that was it. Yeah. And you get the paper. Yeah. And there was no time to be like, well, this is how I feel. I, I mean, question this. Walter I question Cronkite that. Walter Cronkite never said, well, this is how I feel on this. Yeah. It wasn't his job. His job was to report the news. He and, read what was in front yeah. of him. Or well, what I mean, was he knew his, his stuff uh, on it. Script. And like he, he, he delivered it to us, but he allowed us. To figure Interpret. out what we felt about it, hundred percent. And, and news today, because when you think about this, you think about it, you can get the news out in a couple hours a day the way they used to, but yeah. now you got to stretch that to where not only it covers twenty four hours of different you know new programming each yeah. time. So what do you feel that with? Not to mention you've got what six different news channels where back in the day you had like nothing. You had Fox so, and CNN. Yeah. That I mean, was it. You go back now you got further, NBC. Yeah, you, you got, got this. You got that. You got so World now News. now you got to stretch it. And the way you feel that yeah. is by, by putting in everybody's opinion. And it's like news is no longer about somebody's news. It's about somebody's opinion about that news and how you should feel about that news. Yep. And and it just it's, – it, it's constantly turning into these talking points and these – uh, um, conspiracy theory kind of propaganda almost, yeah, yeah, it's, it's just nonsense that's both, how and, and both sides are guilty of it oh yeah it's not just one no. of the parties no it's all but here's my thing if you all go back and do your research that's how hitler divided and conquered his country was propaganda manipulation of the media do your research world war Two. That's how he won his people. Well, I mean, he kind of made them bow down to a degree, too. But he won a lot of people, and he tricked a lot of trickery was going on because of his propaganda, his misinformation that he made the media put out into his country. I mean, it's it's a huge tactic in how to make a group subservient is to divide and conquer. There you go. Divide and conquer that group. It's easier. For instance, earlier we talked about Hotel Rwanda. The Belgians came into Rwanda when it was the Belgian Congo. They turned one group and said, "Oh, we're gonna." What is it now? It's the uh, Republic of. Uh, well, it's, it's it's still Rwanda Democrat. now. No, it's, no, 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 you're, I'm talking, you're talking about, about Democratic Republic the Congo. of Congo. Yeah, yes, yes. That's the what Democratic about. Republic of Congo and Rwanda were known as the Belgian Congo. Yeah. And Leopold II it, comes in yeah. and he basically says, "You know, hey, it up. we're gonna the people who look more white, who are taller, thinner, thin noses, yeah. lighter skin." They're going to be in charge, and they're going to be like the rich people. We're going to give them money and cows, and they're going to be wealthy. Everybody else is going to be was that after Rwanda? No, all this is this is what that was what caused it. Okay, that's over a hundred years ago. Oh, okay, okay, okay. So that's what that was beforehand. So he goes in and creates the Tutsis and creates the Hutu and (sighs) divides them against each other. So yeah, you get a group to run the other, but think about what it does. It divides them to where one group is after the other. So. Straight if up. those two would come together and rise up, they would have took then, it over. They, they would have. They would have became. As long as you teach them to hate one another, they can never overthrow the ones who. They'll never really win. Doing it. If you if you never sorry to interrupt. If you Do never you tell a man how powerful he is, he can never overthrow you. And that's what they say about black men, white men, yeah. Jewish men, Asian men, all the men and women who have been. Strong throughout time were not oppressed. They right. were oppressed, but they, they came out of it. And if you don't tell somebody how powerful they are, if you don't know you're a god, you're just going to bow down. You're just going to bow down and do whatever they tell you. You're going to watch cable, drink your Bud Light. You're going to do whatever and just nope. do what you're told, man. And I can't get down with that. I'm very militant. I'm very – I love – we need a government. Yes. We need a government. Yes. I'm not anti-government. I don't want to say that word because that comes off too abrasive. But at the same time, we need a government who we restart. We need to either take money out of politics, yeah. one, or I know this sounds horrible and it might sound a little crazy. We need to kill all these corrupted people who have been taking over and stealing all of our money and 
feeding us misinformation. But a lighter version of that is like what you told me yeah. to vote. If we yeah. can go out and get my generation, and because your generation's voting, bro. My generation is the ones who are not voting because they're like, oh, it don't matter, bro. I don't even care about votes, man. Whatever, dude. Ap- apathy, man. Whatever, yeah. man. Whatever. Yeah. I don't even care, bro. Yeah. I don't even care about votes. They don't matter, bro. You've, that was you've me. You've got to get out there that and, was and me. use your voice. Yeah. And if we, because here's the thing. If nobody votes, yeah, whatever. Okay, the old people are going to keep voting. No offense right. to old people, but uh, they're going to keep voting. It don't matter. So if we're like, oh, bro, yeah, whatever, we're not going to vote, you're just you're killing yourself. Yep. You're hanging yourself at that point, dude. And I am so hum- – I want to come so humbly and so – oh, I just hit the mic. <laughs> I want to come so humbly and so – ignorant in my ways because i thought i was woke i thought i was the man when somebody taught me some things about the world and i thought votes didn't matter yes votes don't matter if everybody doesn't do it but if everybody who's not a felon and everybody who hasn't lost the right to vote and everybody who's a citizen of our country if we all go vote they can't stop us rise we run the country if we go vote And that's why, you better believe, that day I was actually sick of the voting. I was horribly sick. It was the, I don't even know what day. It was the day I had food poisoning. Yeah. I was dying. Yeah. Violently throwing up. I'm talking, dude, I ain't never, I ain't been that sick in years. Did you go vote? I went and voted. voted Of course. Bro, I was violently sick. Hold up. We got to put the word in. What kind of election? Gubernatorial. Gubernatorial. That was our last tag, so I can't use it as this tag because we're cool guys. That's right. We don't want to use it. But we know. We got ready for it. I'm registered to vote. We talked about it last time we hung out. And yes, I went and voted. You know, uh, my girl was like, Are you going to go vote? You're sleeping all day. Like, are you okay? I was like, Honey. I think I got food poisoning. I have violently thrown up three times. I don't even know if I have anything else to throw up. I think it's going to be stomach acid at this point and phlegm. And then you were like, I better go vote or Lambo's going to find out. Oh, you better know that I got up at 5 (laughs) o'clock. They closed at 7, and I got up. I ran into my boy Tristan Black. Shout out to him. Uh, I don't know who he was with. I think it was his father maybe or uh, whoever he was with. You know, know, said hello to him, whatever. Went in there, did my vote paper because i'm old school baby i'm yeah. retro yeah i, I don't, I don't, I don't trust old. the machine man. i'm the retro i want to see my check i don't trust i want to see my I rage ex. against the machine rage against the machine That's son right. speaking right. of them they're going on Back tour on baby tour. what's going on let's put wu-tang on there please hope they yes. do this man yes. and that's another thing it brings me to you need to go watch the JRE episode that dropped two days with the rizza and my, that brings me to my next question who's your favorite out of the original seven Who's your favorite out of the Wu Tang Clan? Because mine, oh, Inspect the Deck. Really? Yeah. That's your favorite? I love it. Oh my God, he is good yeah. though, bro. He has on what was it? His uh, tone and triumph oh is my just God. butter. Oh, butter, baby. Love was it, it Seventh Chamber? Was this the one where they so all? Good. It's like a cipher. Hold on here, Seventh Chamber. He had the hardest so verse. Good. He really did. Because I watched um, the, the 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 series I told you to watch about the yeah. ten episodes or whatever. Yeah. RZA, executive producer there the whole time. Whatever had a big hand in it. Um, when they do this scene, it had Joey Badass, bro, and he's a rapper from New York. I'll show you one of his songs after this. Yeah. He that started him. Seventeen years old. One of the hardest bars you've ever heard, bro. Seventeen, and he okay, came yeah. out hot. I'm gonna show it to you after this, bro. Yeah. We'll bump it. All right. But seventh chamber. Where's he at? Hold on. There's Method Man. Yup. Hold up. Where's he at? I think that might be him. Anyways, if you guys haven't had Seventh Chamber, they do it at the season finale, bro. It's like them recording it, and the RZA, a.k.a. Bobby, is just like... Kind of like, oh, you go in now, you go in now. They switched the order up on the show, and it's not actually the correct order that the song was recorded right. as real people, but it don't matter, bro. That Dude, it gave me chills watching it. It literally like inspired me to hurry up and finish this EP. I'll have to check it out. And you so you got to check out. out that mashup that I sent you. Oh, the Pink Wu-Tang Floyd one. and Pink Floyd. Look, I'm a bad guy. I didn't check it out. Yeah. I'm not going to lie. But Commented no, dude, on it and did I did. I'm a bad guy. Who does but, that? Uh, horrible people like myself. Uh, but um, no, the seventh chamber, dude. Definitely go check that out. It gets me so pumped yes. when I hear it 
But Joey Badass, I'm pretty sure he plays Inspector Deck. My favorite out of the seven, uh, I probably got to be Raekwon the Chef, bro. Really? Raekwon. Either him or the Jizza. Yeah. I like the Jizza, bro. He kills you know, it. Like, like Rizza's up there for me, too. Like, well, the Jizza is just... the one who blew him up. He True. was the first one to True. get a deal. Yes, Rizza got the deal. If you watch the show, yeah. they got the, they both got deals at around the same time, but the Jizza was the one that really blew up. Yeah. You know, but then the yeah. Rizza came back and did his own thing and it blew up. And then it was like, boom, now we got the chance to be the right. Wu Tang clan. Right. But you got to check out that JRE episode with him and uh, Donnell Rawlings on it, dude. It was super awesome. I'll check it out. Ah, the last thing I want you to explain for these people right. is the impeachment. And I kind of want you to break down the logistics of how impeachment works, how the Senate has to vote whatever, House of Representatives have to vote whatever. Um, kind of just break down the logistics. Like I said, that's the best way to put it. And throw it out there for them. Okay. Friend. I'm um, basically impeachment and removal from office are two different things. That's the first thing you got to lay out there. They're two very, very not to different cut you parts. off, yes. but if you get impeached, does your vice president step up? No. So you're still a president. You're still the president, but you haven't Bill been Clinton, removed. Bill you Clinton, were just Bill, Bill Clinton was impeached. Okay. However, Bill Clinton continued his presidency. Okay. Until just the natural end of it, whenever yes, the next election, whatever year. So yes, so he continued on. Okay. So, so to make to kind of make the whole thing make sense, the mm-hmm. way that it starts is that they have to draw up the impeachment accusation and then vote on it, and that's a long process. I mean, yeah. we're talking months for that to occur. And before what the, before the election the vote ever. is in primaries in November of 2020, right? So we're looking. So at, it better be. They're quick. talking about the votes probably going to be pro- probably not till on this current one, probably not till January. Wow. So it's going to be a minute. So. Right now, what they have to do is just like any court case. You know, mm-hmm. everybody's talking about, oh, it's these private things, this and that. Who's going to try them? The, well, the biggest Supreme thing court? is you have to realize is if you and I go to court, uh-huh. before we get on trial, you have to have depositions okay. with, the, with the judge and things. You have to like meet with lawyers type. and judge. Yeah. Okay, well, yeah, yeah, yeah. Well, I mean, you just have to meet with the judge and okay. stuff and, and meet with the lawyers and all things that stuff. Things that happen. And, and you have to, like, get the evidence down before you can do anything else. So, gotcha. and, and, and a lot of that. And then, then all the discussion of it is done. With a committee. Now, in Congress, whether it's House or Senate, there's different committees divided up. So let's say, for instance, I'm on the and environmental policy. for the record, policy. Senate and House of Representatives make Congress. Yes. Congress is Just the conglomerate sure. of the two. Yes. House of Representatives Collective. is the much larger, 435 of them. Gotcha. Senate, there's 100. Okay. Um, there's House, more in the House of Representatives? Oh, yeah, 435, because there's wow. 435, and those are based off of each state's population. Okay. So, for instance, in Kentucky, we only have six House members in the House of Representatives. We only have two senators. Uh, Every state only has two, and Ron Paul. Bag. Every God, state we gotta get only him out has of there. two. How do we get him out of there? Vote for the primaries? What do we vote on to get Mitch McConnell out well, of the Senate? Totally, it, 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 there's not an election for another, what are we at, four, four years now? It's six years. Every six years is uh, is, is Please is Senate. register And so vote. we've got probably, I think, four more, three or four more left before the end of I'm Please. not sure. It's been a couple of years since he Sorry won the Sorry to cut one. you you're off. Good, you're good. Please v- register to vote if you're not registered already. Mitch McConnell is confirmed to be in bed with the Koch brothers, K O C H. Not C O K E, which is Coke Brothers, aka oil, aka ruining our environment, yeah. aka come on now, let's get real. If our oceans aren't clean, how can we how can we swim? Yeah, you know that's a great analogy yeah. I want to use, and I want to quote that. If our if our oceans aren't clean, how can we swim? If our air isn't we, good we, that we breathe. With too many dirty dealings. Live? There's too much money flowing. Backdoor deals. Our yeah. so, Lobbyist. So, so sorry me, to cut you off. Okay. Continue okay. to House and Senate, Congress. I'm, I'm good sorry. at reeling back from the tangents. I'm fine with that. I, know, I do it all the time. Worst. I'm a social studies teacher. That's all I do is go <laughs> off on tangents, you know? Tangents are the best, my right. friend. So, so 435 members in there, okay? So there has to be someone who draws up the impeachment clause. And they have to, and, and you know, right now I believe that's Schiff, I guess. The big, big name in there right now. And... Once wow, that Nancy happens, Pelosi is actually a part she, of the Congress. I yeah, didn't know yeah, that. yeah. She, well, no, she's Speaker of the House. So yeah, Speaker of the Whoa. House, House of Representatives. I am she ignorant. You got to explain these things to you me. You should have listened I, in the ninth grade a little more, dude. You can't. <laughs> and Step called me out too. He said because I told him I was like, "Oh yeah, bro, I'm giving you homework." I mean, He's like, "Yeah, I'm gonna do it like you did my homework." 
<laughs> don't judge me off of what I did in high school because I, I, I was. Don't. And you're, you're a smart cat too. It's just we we got to go back. I got to go back and teach. I was this, slipping, so. bro. And I'm so, so blessed okay. that a great guy like you is you know a blessed friend of mine slash mentor slash brother. Who has taught I enjoy me teaching this stuff. You've and taught and me the I enjoy way, just man. spreading the word. And, and, and just I so I can the say the same thing to too, you all man. that I say to my students. Yes. I am not here to form your opinion. Oh I don't God. care what, what side you are, what party you're on. I'm just here to inform your opinion. So it's I try and keep all my stuff as, as unbiased house, uh, as possible. That's the Joni one thing I always Ernst tell. Ernst is the Speaker of House? Or the Speaker no. of Senate? No, no, there's no Speaker of Senate. So there's just a Speaker of House? There's a Speaker of Senate. No Leader of Senate. Of the house. Oh, we'll get there. Okay, sorry, we'll, sorry, We'll sorry, bust sorry, through sorry. it all. Okay? Sorry, sorry, sorry. So, okay, 435 members of the House, because yes. that's the one that starts the whole thing. So okay. we're going to go through that real quick. 435. Mm-hmm. The majority party of the House yes, sir. has a, a, a party caucus where they meet together and they elect the leaders of their party. So they elect the most prominent, most Why well-known. Why do they vote for Nancy Pelosi? So they pick Nancy Pelosi. Oh. Yeah. Well, we're going to keep in mind, she, she's, she's from times. California. So California is like the center <sighs> of the Democratic Party. I know. Basically. So, and she's been around a while. The liberals So that's the other thing. Is she's been there a long time. I'm a li- we're For liberals same- by definition, but we're not the liberals that are today. Not, not her. Nancy's, we believe she's, she's in free my, will, that's progressiveness. Definitely not, that's definitely not anywhere near where I'm at. So. And, and another thing, before we get off this, yep. we got to talk about how you feel about Bernie and how I feel about Bernie. Continue. All right. Sorry. All right. So you have the Speaker of the House. Now, yes. in Senate, there are only 100 members. Okay. Those are two per state. Every state has them. How many Republicans? Uh, more so right, than the House? Right now, there's, okay, House is about... Right now, in house 2019. House is a little bit more than 50%. There so you House go. Is, is predominantly... There you not go. Predominantly, and it has it kind of majority. switched. Yeah, it's, it's, uh, it's it, it just switched in the last election. There you go. Um, but the Senate is, I believe, like 54 to okay. 46 uh, Republican. Majority? So they have the majority, okay? Um, so they have the majority party leader, who's Mitch McConnell. They elect Mitch McConnell as their majority party leader. And they also elect a position known as the president pro tempore. And there is no speaker of the Senate. However, there is known as the president of the Senate. Okay. But that's actually the vice president of the United States. Vice Pence president of the United is States is there. The he's, he's not part of Senate. But he's the representative but he's the, of the He's the president of it. The only thing he's allowed to do is break ties. So if there's like a tie, job. then he's, yeah, that's basically the, almost the only job they really have. Okay. So he has to break a tie. Well, he's not always there because he does other things with the president of thing. So, so if he's not there, then they have to call on. Guy? Huh? Do you think he's an evil guy? I'm not a fan. Uh, I don't. I don't believe in good and evil. I, well, but, but, you, but you I know don't, what I mean. Yeah, is but he, I, I don't uh, think he's a, I, I, I don't believe, I don't agree with his views dude, I on don't, certain Alternative lifestyle. I got you, and I'm not trying to bind you up on what you're no, saying. I got you. I got you. I'm got just you. saying, like, me personally, I don't know how to feel about Mike Pence and Donald Trump. I think they're, they might be foxing me, bro. They might be hitting <laughs> me with a little razzle dazzle, yeah. and maybe I think they're legit, but Trust then I got. No one. Yeah, like, I got other people who are telling me, like, nah, dude, these guys are cutting corners to try to make more money overseas. That's that's my rules in life. Is that what's happening? Does he Lino? wear a suit? Like, yes, it's don't crazy. trust him. You can't trust him. Is he a human being? Uh, don't trust him. Bernie Sanders, bro. All right, sorry, I don't, I don't I trust people. I'm sorry, right. bro. I'm just, I, I'm, I'm thinking, I want to I wanna know these things. I think we're I figuring want... out why he didn't learn this in ninth grade. <laughs> he talks too much. I never shut up. I was talking to Chantel the whole time. We had ninth grade together with your class. It was a great class i didn't even sleep through it sorry mr step because i love you and i'm sorry i I slept through a lot of things of your great teachings not being sarcastic at all that dude's one of the most brilliant guys i know likewise to you straight up you guys are some of the most brilliant people i know i love having you all on the podcast sorry all right continue so i'm crazy so you have the president pro tempore whose job is to be there if the vice president can't to break ties okay right now that's a guy by the name of chuck grassley um it, it was before that uh, Orrin Hatch, but he just took over last year. But anyway, um, I think you're getting a little bit into like the state senate and stuff. You gotta be careful with that. That's a whole. Yeah, other I'm j- I'm just looking you're, as you, you speak we'll get, we'll get to these to, people. I'm crazy. sorry. So, so to get back Mr. in the Connell whole process, the senate majority leader. Yes, sir. God, it's, he's way up there. Look at him. Yeah. What a j- j- he just looks like he doesn't care about any of us. Brings us back to Dana Carvey. Oh, turtle, God. turtle, turtle. He looks like a turtle, bro. <laughs> Good Lord, have mercy. So okay, Sorry. let's get to the impeachment. So they have to the the House. I want to say they. Mm-hmm. The House has to draw up the impeachment 
accusation. An impeachment, yes. all that means, guys, is in, in an accusation, a formal accusation of an official in our government. There's two groups. I'm who accusing can be, you of being a dirtbag. Who can be accused. It's not just the president. The president and vice president, either one can be impeached. Also, judges can be impeached. Okay. Like, you could impeach a Supreme Court justice if they are going not off the Constitution, How but off their on party. on the Supreme Court? Nine. Uh, nine, okay. Nine members. Okay, okay. So let's say that one of them started making decisions not based on the Constitution, but based on their political views and what their party wants. That's when it gets weird. Then that's when they can be impeached. When they're doing things that are unconstitutional based off just their beliefs. I don't trust They can be unconstitutional. They can be, I mean, they can be impeached. So this impeachment process, whether it's a judge or a president, uh, the House draws up the charges. Then they will meet together after a long process of bringing in witnesses and putting this whole thing together and showing all this proof. The idea is to try to find proof, as it is in any trial. Are you going to have chances where... Are you going to have times where in a trial, like just a regular trial, where there's not really enough proof yet? Yeah. yeah. But the trials happen. I was shaking my head because I forgot that Kavanaugh was a main member of the Supreme he's, Court He's Justice. the newest. I mean, he, he, yeah, yeah, he's one of the nine, but he, he is one of the newest. That ones. whole thing kind of weirded me out because, like, if you're 18 or 19 years old, dude, I was a dirtbag at 18 or 19. Who can say that everybody else wasn't a dirtbag? Obviously, I'm not justifying somebody treating a woman in any type of manner. I have a daughter. I have a girlfriend who I love very, very much, and I would never treat a woman in any type of demeanor just because of my power and social status. But if I was 18 or 19 and I felt the way this guy felt, you know, he went to uh, Yale College. His family had money. It's hard to say. It's like a status I made on Facebook. It's hard to say it, when you get a little bit of bread, you start getting those endorsements. You're getting people who are – you're rubbing elbows with the right people. Sorry to cut you off. I'm no, sorry again. But it's I a point I want to make is like when you start getting this type of money, dude, we can say that we'd be good people. But who's to say we weren't weaker men? Well, I mean here's the good thing about too is, is like everybody talks about like the thing like the personal things that Trump has done. Mm-hmm. I, I, I get some of the problems with the things said. The Billy but, Bush but thing, the, you yeah, already yeah, yeah, know, yeah, yeah. bro. But, we but, ain't got to talk about it. People already know. people forget about is that – Every president and just about every... They're all scumbags. Uh, every one of them had something Straight real up. dirty. The Somebody drop is, a comment on this video right now, and I'll tell you some, some dirt about one of them. I mean, drop Obama. We, we've had some dirt on, on several way back in history. I mean... Any of them. There, there's, I mean, there's tons of Roosevelt stories you could look at. was about the only person that we need today. We need a person who will break, break up these corporations and these conglomerates. There's, but there's so much dirt between all of them. Here's the difference. Go back to something we talked about earlier. Social media. Mm-hmm. Everybody's in everybody. You know, before, Changes. Everybody has an talk, opinion. People who talked about news and watched news and, and discovered the news, and they were doing the research because you had to. That's the only place you got it. Nowadays, you don't have to do Libraries. that. Libraries. You, just follow, yeah, you, you just follow what you see on a meme, and next thing you know, you're an it, expert. There you go. On the things. That, you and are that's a both professional parties. Yeah. on government policies. So, so sorry, government get back to, government to, policy. Get back to real go. stuff. Reel back sorry, in. sorry. Reel back Senate in is, is reeling so, her back in. So just to speed that up, it, it goes I mean, through Congress. the Congress, or it goes through the House, thank mm-hmm. you, it goes through the House, and once the House then gets everything laid out, then they have to vote. And that's we're not even anywhere near that right now in this current impeachment. No, we got a trial. while. And everybody's talking heat because everybody loves to talk heat. There have everybody's been, entitled to their There have opinion. been plenty of impeachment trials, but only two presidents have ever been impeached. Richard Nixon and Bill Clinton. No. Richard Nixon quit before he quit he before ever he got happened. impeached. Yes. Bill Clinton so, and Andrew Johnson, oh, who you got is me. the vice president who was the vice president of Lincoln when Lincoln got shot and then he wow. takes over. I didn't so know he that. gets Fun impeached. Fact. Okay. Um, and then and then Clinton gets a piece. They're the only two so far. Now, could Trump be the third? Maybe, but here's what has to happen. Okay, it's, it's weird. In an impeachment trial, it, the only people who get to vote are all 435 members of the House of Representatives. Okay? Senate has no vote. Senate has no vote when it comes Ooh. to impeachment. We'll get there. Okay, Senate okay. has a job coming up in a minute. Sure, but um, they only need 51 percent. They need more than half, a majority vote. So let's say that, okay, there's 435. Let's say that 220 vote to impeach President Trump. And that's out of 435? Out of 435. Okay. Then that's half. That's yes. over half. He's impeached. 
Okay. Realistically, is he still the president? Yes. But he's not removed. He's he is not impeached. removed. He's impeached. He is he's under scrutiny. Accused. It's like a suspension almost, exactly. kind of. Now, maybe? at that point, he then goes to Senate for a trial and where they, the same thing will happen, but to he's be been rem- accused. This is a trial to be removed. Okay. In this trial, there actually is a judge of the trial, and that judge is the Supreme Court Chief Justice. And that is, as of right now, That is right now, uh, what's his name? John John Roberts. John G. Roberts, John, John Jr., Roberts, Chief yeah. Justice of the United yeah. States, born in Buffalo, Who New York. Who uh, was put in office by um, Bush, George W. Bush. Yep. So put in office by George W. Bush. So, yeah, you, you could say, okay, well, he, he's a Republican. It doesn't work. Could that was the be. Supreme Court. His job is to protect the Constitution. Yeah, there you go. So, I mean, for instance, one of my favorite stories is uh, Anthony, Anthony and Scalia, mm-hmm. one of the biggest Republican um, uh, Supreme, Go- Supreme yeah, yeah. Court justices, uh, he actually voted for a guy by the name of Johnson, Richard, I think it was Richard Johnson, but I can't remember his name, but mm-hmm. uh, uh, he actually is the guy who did Johnson, it was Johnson of Johnson v. Texas, which is the, the court case that allows us to have the constitutional right to burn the U.S. flag. What? Yeah, that's a, con- that's a real thing, <sighs> because the thing is it's free speech. Disagree. Now, Antonin Scalia, a hardcore Republican, mm-hmm. probably most conservative justices we've had yeah. said, I have to side with Roberts. I, or with, 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 uh, he voted against his party. We, he voted against, no, because it's not about party for him. It's Good about for him. Constitution we need says that. First Amendment. We need that. Constitution says First Amendment, then this has to apply. Sure and enough. he said in his, they call it an, an opinion, which is basically his reason for doing it, okay. that he thinks the guy's pretty much a scumbag. Is, the guy's a scumbag. He disagrees with it. He doesn't like it. But constitutionally, this guy has that right. Fair enough. I mean, we, so, we have those. I mean, you think about like people like the Westboro Baptist. Yeah. People who like protest funerals and stuff and say things yeah. like God hates fags. And yeah. those kind of oh, things. God. I hate what those is people. Going However, on, the Constitution bro. protects them. It, w- I have to just suck it up and it, do well, it. Well, here's the thing about that it's freedom of religion. So people who worship Satan, if that's a real thing, they are protected. Yeah. And the whole burning the American flag. Like, dude, I'm all for doing what you want to do. As long as it's your flag. Why are you if, living if, if here? If someone is trying— Why are you let, living let's say here? If you're someone's burning the American flag mm-hmm. and you walked up and ripped it away and ran I'm, away with I'm it. Probably gonna, I'm probably going to have to say something if my children aren't with me. Right. Probably going to have to engage physically with this human being. But if you grab Sorry, their I'm flag and you run away— Sorry, I'm American. Sorry. You're, you're the one getting arrested because you just I've, stole from I'll, somebody else. I'll go ahead and take that. I'll take that but, but that's uh, just stolen of, of private there's property. There's been cases I'll where take it. people have been stomping the flag like they do in protest, and hey, then somebody came up and took it, and that person me. got arrested. So. Take me to go ahead and but, go to jail. I ain't scared. But it is what it is. To go back to that judge, John Roberts, the current chief justice— he decides. Uh, he's, well, he's is there one, a jury? No, hang on. That's, that's basically okay, it. He's the judge. And keep in mind, in a, round, in a trial, judge doesn't decide a thing. No, not until the very they end. They just lead it. Well, they don't even decide that. The jury it's, decides. Uh, the, the jury's the one who votes, and he's the one who hands down the sentence. So a jury wow. decides. So the jury is made up of 100 senators. So that jury are the Senate. So the jury is... I mean, it's made up of majority Republicans. A lot of Republicans. They're not going to go against Trump. Here's the big difference. That's their daddy right now. Is it easy to get half of the House representatives to vote against Trump? Probably. Yeah. Probably. Is is it definitely going to happen? I don't think so. Because Mm. a lot of people, if they go, here's the difference. Right now we're in an era where people are going with purely with their party. That's not yeah. the way it used to be. Oh, it used to be you voted based off of it. your facts. Yeah, I want to share it in one. this. Is yeah, it the, the one I showed you? With yes, the, yeah. the, the separation, That's good. dude. Yes. I mean, it used to be that way. Now everybody just sticks to their party. If you don't away away from your party, then you're considered a traitor. You're a traitor. John so, McCain. Yeah. So the Democrats may just stick with the party and vote. If they do, he could be impeached. However, in order for him to be removed from office— not half, two thirds of the Senate has to vote to remove. That's crazy. Just so you get the numbers here, that's sixty-seven senators. There's only like forty-three or forty-four uh, Democrats. Yeah. In the Senate, total. Very so predominantly. You're talking about Republican. over twenty Republicans would have to go against their party. It's not gonna happen. To to vote, to, to vote him out and to remove. Especially so where we're at now. There's no way. There's no way that's going to happen. So, so he comes impeached. What bad comes out of that? Nothing. Does it keep him from running again? No. It gives people something to talk about while it, they distract us so when they it, do so something it, else. So it sullies his career, his history. It, does it really? 
I mean, how many people really look at Bill Clinton differently in his presidency due to his infidelity? Affair that became or his, whatever, his, well, yeah. I mean, that his, no, his lying under oath, which is what he actually got impeached for. So do is they, that what really, it is? I mean, like, no, not he really. He lied I mean, like, saying that like he would be faithful to his woman. No, no, no. Or like, no, well, how's he, that he, work? Because she, it wasn't because he cheated. It was because she was an intern. Ooh. Because she worked there, so he got asked. Abusive and she power. Was, well, it was not just it was abusive power, but yeah. it was also just like where it was. I mean, you're in the, in the you're Oval in the office. Oval Office. I mean, Ooh, that's a tough. Do one. you have clearance? I mean, that's a tough one. She had clearance under the desk. That was about <laughs> the only place she had clearance. You know, no lie. So. So the problem is that he then, under oath, first said, I did not have yeah. sexual relations with, with that, that woman. woman. Yeah. And then a week later was like, yeah, I hit it. <laughs> so, Rick James, them son, yeah. he said, I, I yeah. don't, why would I just go up in somebody's house and just you know kick yeah. my feet on the couch? Yeah. You know, Well, so, all I do remember you know, yeah. rubbing my feet on Eddie's couch. You so know? <laughs> when he got caught then, yeah, they, then that starts the, the, the whole impeachment. Not because sure. of his infidelity. So and he just ended his term. Like it wasn't even. No, he didn't he, get removed. He didn't get impeached. He already served he, for he eight years. Impeached. He finished up his eight years. He won twice. He so he was eight? president for eight years. Oh my God! That's another yeah. thing I didn't know. I thought so he, he was, went one he was term. president for two terms, and it was he didn't come down until the second term, and that was fairly early when it all started. But he still had two years left, about two years when the whole impeachment finished. Yeah, he still finished it. His vice president almost won the next election. I mean that came down the Supreme Court having to decide Bush v. Gore, because oh, you had the yeah. whole like like the 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 missing or not the missing vote, Pop, the, it was the, a the chads, vote, the, the chads, the chads. Well, you had people that. People were questioning all time, and then but vote scandal. You had what they called the, the hanging chads. Apparently, there were some votes in Florida. Florida, Florida changed That's exactly it. Exactly what it you was. You had it to where like you know how when you use a hole punch, the mm-hmm. hole doesn't always come all the way off. Yep. And it kind of hangs. Yep. Well, those are called hanging chads, and they were stuck. In voting. So, yeah, well, so, like, wow. if you hole punch a piece of paper, like, that's how you, a lot of times you, you put it in the machine, and the machine, you pick it, and it punches it. Yeah. Well, it didn't come all the way off. So when it then shoots a light through and scans through that hole, those mm-hmm. hanging chads had, like, flipped back up. Mm-hmm. So it showed that people didn't vote at all Whoa. when they actually had. So it changed the vote. So they had to go through and recount all those. So, I mean, just the fact that his VP almost won should tell you that he was still in pretty good graces with the country, even yeah. though he'd been impeached. So Al Gore was killing is, it. Yeah, he was. He was. It, it, he was is doing Trump well. going to like just That's disappear in his, his prominence or anything no. because of, of being impeached? No, everybody's making here. a big fight, a way bigger fight on both sides than it yeah. really, really is because it's not going to happen. No, it's not. it's distracting when us from move, real removal's not going to happen. Is impeachment possible? Yeah. Yes. Is it probable? No, I don't think so. It's not likely. It's still a tough thing to get through. It, it's like, it always is. It's not like those two presidents have been the only people who's ever faced the possibility yeah. of impeachment. Sure. Everybody's a dirt bag in their own way. A lot way. of people have had things that someone could accuse them of. Yeah. And like, I'm loving right now watching it and everybody's talking about, you know, this is unprecedented. This never happened before. Go nah, back. The, not the, true. The difference is it happened before it was reported on. But this is the first. I don't know if people realize this. This is the first time that we're actually getting to see the court proceedings. Yeah, this yeah. Is, yeah. This, is social all inter- this is media, and like I said, we, we talked about media yeah. political uh, division. You're seeing it simultaneously as it's happening this, happening yeah. on your phone. It's not like you're surrounded with your family yeah. watching the cable TV. This is the first time that we're actually being able to just like anybody, you know, Tom, Joe. Dick and Harry, yeah, can yeah everybody can say see what it. we want to say, straight up, watch what we want to watch, and suddenly we all think we're Walter Cronkite, you know? yeah, for real. So it, we're it, Rush Limbaugh out yeah, here, son. Yeah. So I mean, a little knowledge on so him. He wasn't even uh, Clinton wasn't even close to getting removed. I don't think Trump will be close if he were to get impeached. We'll see. Uh, I will tell you who was real close is uh, Andrew Johnson. He was one vote short from of being removed Congress? from office. Oh from from, from Senate when Senate voted oh, to yeah, remove yeah, him, yeah, that's he got the jury, Yeah, when when his actual jury of Senate went to remove him, he, they were one vote short. Damn, now there weren't a hundred senators back then because there absolutely. weren't fifty states. And population was but, different. But he was one vote there shy. If he had gotten one more on the planet, person to flip, he'd be the only president ever removed from office. Wow. No president's ever been removed from office. Like you said, Richard Nixon uh, resigned. Yep. Bill Clinton. Now he he wrote probably it out. would have been the first one. Yeah, Bill Clinton wrote it yeah. out. He got his uh, natural term ending. Yeah, and, and, and everybody uh, was like, well, you know, why are you doing this if you don't think you're actually going to win? No one thought they were going to get Bill Clinton out no. of office. No. The whole thing is you keep somebody He in, caught the economic boom with well, the Industrial well, Revolution. I mean, everybody thought he was a god. The thing is you keep someone in check. 
Yeah. If they can get by with every little thing, then they're going to get by with more and more. Most people didn't know that they were coke dealers just laying it down the CIA, <laughs> bringing things. What was that movie with Tom Cruise? Just came out not um, even that long ago. Yeah. And that yeah. was about like the Clintons and everything, yeah. dude. Those people doing bad stuff, bring wreaking havoc on our communities, man. Well, you, you have to, I mean, it's due process. You have to enact the law and the constitutional things, that, the impeachment and the setup you had. The way it's run right now in this impeachment is the exact same way that it's ran in every other. There's nothing that's like ridiculously crazy. New. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's there, all the same. There's really not like layout. this whole like behind closed doors. That's yeah. That's, that's called it's called a committee. Yeah, straight Committees up. are behind closed doors. This Misinformation. Is, this what committee doing this is the investigation committee. They're an impeachment yep. committee. No one's being like, oh, they're they're keeping the environmental committee away from us. That no one cares about that. Yeah. So, and, and each committee is made up of people don't realize this. Each committee is made up of the people that are assigned to that committee of both Democrats and Republicans. Yes. So that group that's in that closed room that everybody freaked out about a few weeks ago mm-hmm. is both Democrats and Republicans. What, so what really blew my mind is how technical we are about what can I say? I guess public humiliation i don't even know what you yeah. would call it it's like you got to be tried to be killed look what it's, happened to saddam hussein we literally found out okay yeah we know where he's at confirmation he's in a hole somewhere yeah. posting selfies with the devil off south park <laughs> i'm goofy sorry don't listen to me realistically we found him in a hole yeah. and that yeah. is the truth we pulled him out we tried him. Yeah. We hung him publicly in yeah. his own country while yeah. people watched and threw stones at him and yeah. literally wanted him to die from a more brutal situation. Yeah. Turn around. We got Gaddafi of Libya, which was the dictator of Libya, who was at one point worth $300 billion, yeah. $400 billion. Dude, that's stupid money. Yeah. That's stupid money. That's milk money, baby. That's when you start. That's when you start buying everything. You start buying countries with that type of money. <laughs> Long story short, we tried. We killed him. Yeah. That was one of Hillary Clinton's famous speeches. We came. We saw. He died. Yeah. Ha 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 ha. Her her it's maniacal like, laugh. Yeah. Like, dude, stay in your lane. Or, or you like just the, murdered a man. Yeah. Like, come on now. The, the recent be comments professional. About, uh, oh, what's his name? The guy, the ISIS guy, did not long ago. Where, where, uh, where Trump, same kind of thing. God, where where Trump f- said that, like, uh, I can, it's, I can never remember it, but I can't remember. He said it. he died like a dog, wow. and it's like, come on. Now, the point I was making is was, that, is that who we are? The point I was making was, remember when Osama bin Laden was allegedly killed by Navy <laughs> SEALs? Blah blah blah. Yeah. All this came out two thousand eight, something like that, right before Obama's next election. Yeah. Oh, we stopped Al Qaeda. We stopped ISIS. We did this. We killed yeah. the Taliban. Blah blah blah. Why don't we try him? Yeah. We tried Saddam Hussein, who which was a dictator of not even just Iraq and uh, you know Iran, but dude, it was like the whole Middle East. He was running the he was running the place, bro. He started his own money. You can't try somebody if you're scared of what they're gonna say. Not even that. Can't try him if they've already been dead. Bush did not let him. <laughs> Epstein didn't kill himself. <laughs> Conspiracy, my friends. But no, like I said, go ahead and wrap it up on the impeachment. I'm not trying to get too crazy. No, I mean that's people, pretty much it. I mean know. the whole thing is, you know, it's a two very lengthy things. process. It, it is a lengthy. It's going to be a while. It's going to be a while, and everybody's making this big like. Right oh, for the primaries, when, or the, when they would vote, they'd vote next summer. Yeah. It'd be this summer coming up, I mean, which is four or five months before the primaries. Yeah. I mean, it, okay. Once it gets to the Senate, it goes pretty quick. Then. But, I mean, if anything, if he were somehow to be removed by Senate, he'd be pretty much done with it by then. Yeah. So the thing is, is someone said this to me the other day, they're like, it's never, it's unprecedented, it's been an election year. Are we really in an election year yet? I mean, we're not even. We're not. We're We're in state. He's not even to a year left yet. State. He's still got almost, almost, uh, about a year and a half left. Something like that, yeah. So, I mean, I mean, it's going to be a second. He'll leave. He'll leave office in January on January twentieth of twenty twenty one. Excuse me. So that he's February got a year or January, January or whatever is January, the inauguration. January twentieth is the inauguration. 
of 2021. Fact checking, baby, because you know my boy's on point. So, yeah, it's, <laughs> it, it, I'm, I'm positive. The on only, point. The only time it's going to be another day is if that's like a spe- like a Sunday. Something. Like something it's like got to be something uh, sacred. They have, I, I, was just, yeah, I was just talking I, crap. I will say this is actually a pretty, pretty <laughs> cool fact that uh, Obama was actually, um, he did his inauguration twice. Really? He sworn in twice. Because it was on a it was on a day that it wasn't public. It, it was no like inauguration. It was I can't remember. It was like because it was the day of the week or whatever it was. Yeah. But they did it in private, with like the judge and everything. Seems sketchy to me. Well, it's kind of like you know how you have like your kid's birthday and you have like a we're gonna go out. to It was eat. a day this, that was weird. This is our. It, it was on a Wednesday. So it was we, on a t- we, yeah yeah, we, yeah Tuesday. We took, we took him out to eat and then like this Saturday we're like happy birthday. It's oh not, it's not really your birthday. Yeah. You know that same kind Waste of thing. Waste a good surprise like, on you. It was like we had the big inauguration, the show, but or like you know hey, we actually got married like three weeks ago in Vegas, but yeah. we're gonna have the family in for this. You know same <laughs> kind of thing. So it's basically what happened. But kind of a cool fact there that you know, um, he's the only president to do that. That's crazy, but, man. Uh, it's yeah. been a great episode, dude. Yep. An honor as usual. You already Always. know, Always, man. Brother. Always. Love this brother right here. Been a great mentor, a great friend to me. And uh, this is episode 45, baby. So make sure to tune in for episode 46 45, and follow. 45, the same number of presidents. Dude, 45 presidents, That's 2019, right. baby. Donald J. Trump, number 45. I'm telling you, man. But it's been all love. Hashtag together FTR for the record. You like, already know. Like www. And subscribe. www.togetherftr.com. Thank you all so much. Bless up, baby. Peace.